we will be trying out question number one of ISP 2010 and that was about the denomination breakup and that, that, that required two things to be done. One was that you enter an amount like for example one 14,856 and then convert the number into individual digits which is quite straightforward if you are making a clever use of an array. It might be a bit long if you are using if else if structure. And then what they want is that they want to find out the minimum number of nodes in or the highest denomination which can be used to express that amount. So for example, for 14,856 it is 1000 into 14 nodes, 500 into 1 nodes, 100 into 3 and so on. And then they are also asking to display the number of nodes. The interesting part is that the number is being right aligned. Okay. So, this we'll see, I mean, like if you want to have the exact answer like it is shown, the displaying part might be more complex than the actual thing. It will require a lot of work, convert it into a string, find the number of leading spaces, do the padding yourself. But what we'll do, we'll use system.out.println to make our task easier. Okay. So, anything else? Uh, let me have a look, quick look, any range they have given. Okay. They are saying up to five digits, so we can assume that the number will not be more than five digits, but that doesn't really matter. Our program will work even if it is more than five digits. Okay, let's begin. So what we'll do now is, so first we'll enter the amount, input, and then, okay, let's begin. So I'll say that, okay, int amount is equal to int dot next int this will take the amount once the amount is taken no range check etc needs to be done we'll create a class and we'll call our class think of a num what what do we should call a class denomination uh, yes i was thinking of the same or should we call it amount because amount will have denomination amount will be converted into words and amount will be expressed in notes let's call it amount okay sir. okay so we'll say class amount and obviously that will contain a variable by the name of amount and then we'll have a constructor to initialize it so the name of the constructor will be amount and then amount will accept the amount and then we'll store that amount into the instance variable so this dot amount is equal to amount so the initialization part is done now when we come over here we have to create an object so we'll say amount amt is equal to new amount and we'll pass the amount which has been entered by the user right so once this is done then the first thing we are supposed to do is we are supposed to convert it into individual digits so let's begin so that we'll do by direct printing that means we want to say that okay System dot out dot println will say output will give a slash t for alignment and then we'll say plus the name of the object. So since we are trying to convert the object into a string, it will try to locate the function public to string. So that's what we will do now. We'll say public string to string and this function will be called as soon as we try to print it. And here we'll find out the Output. the output so we'll create a variable by the name of output now this has to be done only once right so we don't need the digits outside so where do you want to create it outside or inside let's create it outside inside okay. I, because i mean that's a better practice to do in this kind of a case because that list is not going to change if the user decides okay. to call it many times so we'll say private static string and we'll call it digits or just call it digit digit will look better and then we'll initialize it so the digits are 0 at the 0th place 1 at the first place then 2 at the second place followed by 3 followed by now this is the boring part but I cannot forward it because this is live 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 then 8 
and then finally 9 so all the 10 digits are taken care of okay now when you extract the digits the digits are always extracted from the rear when you say modulus 10 you get the last digit so instead of reversing and all what we'll do is that we'll add the digit to the front yeah. of the digit so it will automatically get reversed so let's begin so for extracting i'll say okay int temp is equal to amount and then once that is done we'll say while temp is more than zero and then we'll say temp divided by is equal to 10 and then we'll say that okay output plus is equal to we'll say first digit modulus 10 that will take out the last digit and then we'll add this to the output i think plus equal to is not required obviously so uh, it is uh, the index of the uh, digit oh array. sorry 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 yes so we'll say digit box bracket so we why i'm writing that it twice temp. that is temp yes exactly so last digit is taken out and then added and we need to add a space in between as well so we'll say plus is space plus right are we missing something so we have to remove the extra space we have to remove the extra space so that also has been taken care of is it the right place to do it please understand once you initialize it we are, we will not be doing it again so obviously this is not the correct place to do it if someone decides to print it 10 times it will be calculated 10 times so though the answer will be correct it's an slightly inefficient way of doing it so where should we do it constructor itself okay, okay so we can do that there as well we can have a function for it we okay. can call it from the constructor let's have a function yeah that's a, more, a cleaner way of doing it so we'll say public void convert or digits to word we'll just call it digits to word and we'll move the entire thing over here except this so this will actually go over here we'll say private oops sorry spelling p-r-i-v-a-t-e -E. private string output will be declared over here here we'll say that okay output is equal to nothing and then this is not return return will be over here return output clear trim we forgot so output is equal to output dot Trim. Please understand trim also has a loop internally runs a loop. So we'll do it over here so that it is done only once. Clear? And so yes. and so we have to call this function also. Yes, obviously uh, we want to trigger it automatically. So within the constructor at the end we'll just call this function digits to word. The function gets caught so now if i run the program and enter a number that number will be converted to words and printed let's check the first part out so if i run it and let's say i enter a number one two three four zero nine eight and i press enter so one two three four zero nine eight the first part is working now we move on to the second part which is calculating and printing the denomination right so let's move on to the second part we'll say system dot out dot print ln or we'll just call the function what do you say amt dot show denomination okay amt dot show denomination okay so we'll go over here and we'll create a function we'll call it public to denomination so should we just show it from here or should we calculate it over here as well what will you prefer uh, because again it's again. not it's not changing so 
we can uh, show the denomination here and calculate it both okay let's do it both. because though it's not a good practice i mean we should trigger that also from the constructor itself and when someone calls it we just print it print it because it's not going to change but anyway no problem let's do it let's not unnecessarily complicate things so system dot out dot print ln we'll have to say slash t and then we'll have to say denomination so that will print the word denomination now this was pre demonetization so the denomination is different so this is the denomination so we'll store this denomination into in, in an array we'll first divide by the highest denomination then the next highest then the next highest then the next highest and so on so maybe move over here and over here we'll say private int denominator or let's call it notes right denomination is too long so we'll say notes and we'll say curly braces so this is our array right so shouldn't it be static yes it should be static obviously so now we'll make it static and we come over here so now we have to divide one by one so now if you have to divide one by one what should we do should we take a normal for loop or will you prefer a enhanced for loop enhanced for, sir. okay let's take an enhanced for so we'll say then let's call it notes that will look better okay so we go over here we want to iterate that loop one by one that means first we want 1000 out then 500 then 100 and so on so we'll say for note oh sorry for int note colon note so this will iterate through all the notes and then we'll do the division we need to find the quantity so we'll take a variable we'll call it quantity quantity and then we'll say that okay quantity is equal to how much so amount divided by, by notes but please notes. understand we should not destroy the input which is coming so ideally we should take a copy so we'll yes. take one more variable we'll call it uh, temp temp amount yes we'll say temp amount is equal to or just say amt is equal to amount that will be good enough we'll say that okay amt is equal to amount and then here we'll say that okay quantity is equal to amt divided by note now we are supposed to print only when this quantity is non zero so if quantity is more than zero then we'll do the printing job that means this part and then how to print it now this is the important factor so first we have to print a tab so that it aligns isn't it yes sir so let's first print the tab we'll say system dot out dot print ln oh sorry print f we'll use and the yes. first thing we'll print is a slash t so that the alignment takes place now then just count how many characters one two three four five six seven eight eight characters column is taken for displaying the note so we will say over here how much any i remember what it was percentage percentage 8d so it will reserve 8d and then we'll say x into and then again let's count how many characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 right 14 actually no 13 we'll take 13 we'll have one extra space so we'll then we'll say percentage 13 d for the next place then we'll have an equal to sign and then how many one two three four five six seven but this is right aligned right aligned means that uh, we'll say percentage minus 9 d so this will become right aligned and then we'll need a line change okay so let's do the substitution the first part is for the quantity so we'll say quantity the second part is for note note so we'll say note and the third part is no sir i think we interchange the first is for notes the first is for note the second is for quantity, quantity. so the first is for note 
first is for note, the second is for quantity, and third is for actually for the product of note yes. and quantity. Note so and note quantity. into quantity, and this will print it. Now also note that they want the total number of uh, notes. So we'll just have one more variable and we'll call it note count is equal to zero. And if you are coming inside, we'll say note count plus is equal to quantity. Yes. So this will count the quantity. And once you come out of the loop, we have to display one more line, actually two more lines. Total, total to we know what it will be. But please again note this formatting. So what we should do? I think we should simply copy paste. No. Or you want proper printf. No point in having a printf for this simple thing. Yes, sir. Exactly. So, we so we'll just say system dot out dot println this. Just get rid of this. No, but is it alignment? Hold on. Let me check. No, this alignment is right justified. We have to do the last part with this. What do you say? Uh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. So we'll say printf. We'll have a slash t in the beginning and then here after this, we'll say percentage minus 9d, right? Percentage minus 9d slash n will go out and what we have to display the amount. Amount, right? Amount or? Yes, amount. Um, because um, that other number is gone by after division. So this is done now once this is done now we come to the last part again just let us check the alignment again here also we need the same thing but the message is yes. changing and this time the message is total number of notes so we'll just take this message from here to here so system dot out dot print printf and then we'll say slash t copy paste the message percentage minus 9d a new line after that and then we have to say note count now what was the name of the variable note count right yes note count. comma 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 that's why note count so this should take place take care of the rest thing rest of the things right let's check it out so, so we haven't divided amount we have oh sorry yes so once we have got it we'll have to divide so division should take place before or after outside if, after, outside if. after so we'll say that okay amount is equal to amount divided by no note. So amount model is note i think oh yes the remainder or why not say percentage equal to right so Let's try to run it. We run the code. It asks for the amount. We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We press enter. So we have got one space less. And this is not justifying to the right. Right. Okay, yes. let's have a look at it. Oh, it's the other way around. The first one will have minus. The second one will, there will be no minus. Right? So first, let's add this extra space which was required added, isn't it? And then minus, minus, and this goes away. And then this will also go away and this will also go away. Let's run it once more and see. I believe now it will work. So one, two, three, four, five, enter. There you are. Yes. Is it correct? Yes, it is. So that's it. Any doubts or clarifications? No, sir. It's, it's clear. Okay, then. Thank you. Thank you, sir.